talk about on the edge of your seat. Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. This is a Timu order I've been waiting on a while. I got a gift card. So I just added these to spend the $30. These are all from Timu. I'm sorry, I should have said that. And yes, I already took them out of the bag. But I haven't taken them out of their individual bags. <laughs> This is just a silicone mold and it's a tentacle. That should be really fun. Oh my goodness, y'all. How many times have you gone to Michael's and bought like 10 of those and paid some ridiculous price? There's 125. They are little bales. Let me see if I can get one there. You see it? Okay, all different, all different. Well, not all different, but a bunch of different ones. There's some smaller smaller around <clears throat> there's some more tube like th that one that I'm really interested in yeah. mm. can't beat that I, I don't know what the prices were I, um, I'm too excited to go look this is what I was excited about. It's like a hundred and twenty six something piece. Now, of course, I, I realize that includes everything, but. There are three each of a lot of these. And then there's ones like this that are three pieces, but they're graduated pieces where they'll fit together. I know you've seen earrings done like that. Now there's a whole set. These are this one's a club. This one's a spade. And then of course there's a heart and a diamond. Then there's these little individual cutters, except for that tiny one right there. Here is the main set. Diamond, heart, circle, oval, star, hexagon, triangle. And these are like a raindrop. And these three little individual ones here. I, I'm super excited. All at one time. Those are amazing and gonna be so helpful. And we're gonna use them. And then it just came with this. These are stud earrings. Stud earrings. 
uh, fish appearing silver and gold uh, bags and these are all supposed to be jump rings but as you can tell they're literally jump rings everywhere but of course I didn't buy it for that I bought it for the cutters And then there's these little, um, these tiny little holes and stuff. Okay. Oh. I am over the moon. I'm telling you, it's because I'm, I feel like I've been waiting a month. <laughs> for these cutters, and I know it hasn't been that long, but. Alright, so let's get some clay mixed up and make some earrings. Okay, now I'm going to show you that you actually can mix different brands of polymer clay. This is Primo. This is Primo. This is Cernit. It's the Opaline. And it's the White. If you can call it that. Not because of the product. Because. Of my storage. Okay. And then this is the souffle. This is the souffle. Before I even try it. Igloo. Time to share a little trick about opening these. These are the older packages. Doesn't apply to the newer ones, but that black strip right there, that black strip is on the uppermost fold of that package start there <laughs> okay on this one it's this two across and then the two up and down okay Okay, now all four of these I'm going to bake at primo temperatures, okay, ugh, after I clean my desk. So I'm going to clean my desk and then roll these out uh, on a three and then I'll be back. Okay, now this may seem like a weird color mix, but still. Primo, Primo, Souffle, Cernit. Now. Between the first two. I want a tiny bit of the, this is the macro pearl micro powder, uh, mica powder, <laughs> as opposed to the micro pearl mica powder. Okay, so this I'm going to take my brush here. Dust it out. Make sure there's nothing in there. First of all. Uh, 
I'm going to put this on the top where you can actually see it. And then I'm just going to coat this with the Michael Pearl. Doesn't have to be covered all over or... Anything like that. Okay, just something like that. Okay, then we're going to take this as the... Souffle Igloo. Which is nowhere near the same size. Which doesn't really matter, but... Just roll it out a bit more. Okay. Bacon Bond. Just a little, so it'll stick. Okay, now between the souffle and the pearl, we don't necessarily need anything. But to just roll this out a tiny bit more. Now my layers are getting really uneven. Try to get any air pockets out of there. Let me trap. This is the deco art glamour dust. I'm gonna very carefully. All amount. Again with the bacon bond. Sorry, my arm's in the way, but I can see. Okay. Like I said, again, just enough to stick it down. Then we're going to try this translucent, primo translucent. Now, this could be anything. This could be Cernet. It could be whatever you fancy. Now we're going to add some gold leaf. Now, I'm not going to talk much once I open it because... I'll blow it everywhere.
Okay. Now we're just gonna We're just gonna roll it down a bit so it can go through my pasta machine. Struggle is real. That is very pretty. I'm gonna roll this out. Okay, now this is rolled out on a two. Okay, I'm going to do a lot more with that, but this is all we want with these little earrings. Alright, so... Again, with our little pilot hole. And then I'll bake these 275 for 30 minutes. Okay, just real quick, these are how they came out of the oven. A lot more opaque than I expected. And not really with a lot of pearl in them. But that could change when we put the UV resin top coat on. So let's get started with that. Okay, I also made two sets of six beads for a bracelet, plus I had leftover for one bigger focal bead. So here's the bracelet. Now I did this one with all six beads, so there's no glass beads in between. And then... We had three sets of earrings. I hope y'all can see that. They didn't turn out quite as translucent as I thought they would. But they're still really pretty. Okay, and then this was my first time using this cutter. Now, all of these findings on the earrings uh, came with the cutters. And I have to say, I actually like the gold better than the gold that I already had. It's just prettier. But those are actually really pretty. Okay, three sets of earrings. Two sets of beads for bracelets, or if you broke them up by fours, there would be three sets of beads for bracelets. <laughs> One of these days, I'll actually find my other toggle clasps. Right now, all I've got is this set that's got gold, silver, and copper. There we go. My first haul from Timu in a long time. And I've got another one coming today. Um, 
that's still not my bead caps. Oh, I could tell you a story right now, but I'm not gonna. Just gonna continue to be mad about it. <laughs> uh, um, I've got an Amazon shop. I'm not sure if any of this came from there. <laughs> But I get a little kickback if you order anything from there, <clears throat> from that link. The rest of my social media links are listed below. <clears throat> Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like everybody's video. Bye for now.